good evening everyone so here uh, we will do the allegation and mixture okay if you go through 2011 to 2023 only three questions are there with respect to this mixture topic okay some topics uh, some questions we have covered already with respect to the ratio and proportion also okay here we will see three questions here okay so now in 2021 there is a question here 30 grams of sugar was mixed in 180 ml water in a vessel A. 40 gram of sugar was mixed in 280 ml of water in the vessel B. 20 gram of sugar was mixed in 100 ml of water in the vessel C. The solution in the vessel B is B is possible to give a same question in 2024 also but the, they may change the options okay you have to be careful with the, these things now let us do this one so a let us take your sugar your water your be careful with the unit that only plays a very vital role so 30 gram your 180 ml okay so then in the b sugar and water 40 gram here 280 ml in the C you are having 20 gram here mixed with the 100 ml now try to understand now we have to convert here the conversion plays a very vital role how many grams per ml of sugar is there that we have to check here 30 by 180 so that is gram per ml equate that one cancel then so which is equal to 1 by 6 gram per ml of sugar right in the vessel a so like this you can okay yes good you are giving good answers okay good correct answers now listen now we can go with this 40 by 280 so you can cancel this one then it becomes 1 by 7 gram per ml per ml so here 20 by 100 gram per ml so which is equal to 1 by 5 gram per ml now which is the least okay or else which is the greatest we can check c is the greatest here 1 by 5 greater than the which one a 1 by 6 greater than the next one 1 by 7 so this is uh, you can write your c a b now go with the options after finding out this one sweeter so you have to check with the b b is the least right b is the least to go sweeter than the c no c is the sweeter so eliminate Sweeter than the A? No. B is the last. As sweet as then? No. As sweet as then? That in C? No. Not equal. So less than, less sweet than that in C? Yes. C is greater. C is greater than B means automatically B is lesser than the C. So fourth option, the D is correct answer. Okay. Anybody having doubt? Shall I move on to the next? Okay. Fine. Next year. 2017 this question we have done during in our foundation class itself we have done this question okay so anyhow we will discuss this question here there is a milk sample with a 50 percentage water in it 50 percentage water in it one by third of this milk is added to the equal amount of pure milk then water in the new mixture will fall down to fall down to please try to understand take some random values right the mixture or else you can take it as a quantity so you can take it as a, the original quantity also i am taking here the original quantity one by third right okay take in that format so suppose if I am taking 150 ml, what happens? 1 by 3 is equal to 50. 
easily we can able to calculate okay even you can take 100 also not an issue even you can take 90 also not an issue okay 120 also you can take easily we can convert that one one by third you have to take okay so now why since uh, the one by third of this is equal to 50 ml to for our convenient purpose only we are taking here so this is 50 ml one by third of this one now read the question carefully this one by third of the mixture which means 50 ml of the mixture so this is nothing but a mixture please try to understand mixture is mixed equal amount of the pure milk so therefore 50 ml of pure milk right now after this now try to understand there is a milk sample with 50 percentage of the water which means that in the 50 ml of the mixture you are having 50 percentage of the water so therefore 50 percentage is nothing but 25 so therefore 25 ml of milk here then 25 ml of water here okay in that 50 okay please be careful then your 50 ml of pure milk so pm means pure milk now simple your easily you can calculate the then water in the new mixture so this is the new mixture right the new mixture what is the new mixture total here is 100 out of that 100 how many water present here 25 ml right so therefore we can take 25 percentage means you have to multiply so therefore 25 percentage so the answer for the question here is a getting shall i move to the next one okay fine next year okay yes in 2020 this was a lengthy question but you can able to solve at least read one or twice easily you can able to solve this question in a simple manner you can do this without formula have the basic idea there are two containers x and y x contain 100 ml of milk okay so let us take this as a milk and water milk and water so like this we can split here here 100 ml of milk here here nothing of related to the water therefore zero here y contains 100 ml of water milk you are not having therefore zero now try to understand 20 ml of milk from x from x transfer to the y so therefore you are transferring your so 20 your water remains same your then your becomes 80 because you are transferring 20 to this one 20 transfer okay so therefore it becomes 80 then this becomes a zero after this read it carefully now after this mixing after mixing well 20 ml of the mixture in the y is transferred back to x so now try to understand mixture means the whole thing here now this becomes 120 the total here becomes 120 so this is nothing but 2020 right out of the 20 how many part you are transferring which means how many part of the milk how many unit of the milk you are transferring your the right so that is important 20 by 120 so this is nothing but the milk so what are your take your water water here is 100 into 20 by 120 so calculate this one quickly so this is nothing but a 1 by 6 1 by 6 okay 1 by 6 here 1 by 6 20 by 6 20 by 6 is nothing but 3.33 just have good idea with the the calculations so this is 1 by 6 this is nothing but a check here 
this part is nothing but this is 20 into 20 okay this is 1 by 6 means this is becomes a 5 by 6 right check this part what is this one or else you can do this also so what is 100 by anybody this is fine 100 by 6 what is 100 by 6 if you are remembering the percentage concept then easily you can able to calculate 16.66 okay so now is correct 16.66 is correct what you are doing here you are transferring it to the x here right now the x becomes your 83.33 so what happens to that okay let us do this one so here x this is with respect to the milk with respect to the water it becomes a 16.66 so this is with respect to the x now calculate with respect to the y you are transferring right therefore automatically getting reduces here so now milk you have to subtract your 20 minus 3.33 20 minus 3.33 becomes 16.66 so what are your you have to subtract 100 minus 16.66 83.33 so after this just calculate read the question here if m demote m denotes the water in the y water in the y so this is a y okay so therefore if m demotes water in the y so let us take this as a m okay else let me change the color of the pen wait a minute so this is nothing but the n now, M denotes the what the proportion of milk in the X. Are, sorry. So, this is N. Automatically, you can uh, mock the M. M denotes, denotes the proportion of milk in the X. So, this is nothing but the X. Right. So, the 4 here, we can place it as a M. That's it. Now, read. Then, which of the following is correct? M is equal to N check here 83.33 is equal to 83.33 m is equal to n what, which option a option a option is the correct answer i'm getting everyone anybody having doubt here okay fine no doubt if no doubt means uh, let us conclude this allegation make sure okay